Hi everybody, welcome back to the tips and tricks videos. We are still working on uh, our tips and tricks clips for or about the new release and um, today I want to talk about a new um, feature. Um, since this version you can uh, send artnet or streaming ACN data into your own PC um, and use it for remote functions. Um, so I have a short overview here. Imagine you want to send DMX data into this on PC from your old light commander. Uh, therefore you need a small piece of hardware, a node, maybe this one. Um, and from the light commander you can send DMX data into this node. In my case it's a major node one, but uh, there are several others out there which can do something similar. The node is uh, configured so that it sends artnet or streaming ACN data um, out on a specific universe and um, this data, in my example it's artnet data, can be sent into the uh, on PC software. Um, in real life this uh, looks like uh, this. So over here we have my computer, then a small fader console, and um, over here this is the node and the DMX cable and the network cable into the computer. Um, the configuration in OnPC is pretty easy. You have to go to the setup, um, network protocols, and then you can choose between ArtNet or Streaming ACN. Uh, in my example I'm using Streaming ACN on universe number nine. So the configuration in a note says all incoming DMX data will be transferred to streaming ACN universe number nine and you have to activate the input on the console. Furthermore, it's important that a session is running. That's always when you work with uh, network protocols, you need a session. Um, and when you go back to the setup, you have to configure the remote input. So DMX remote input on executor of the current page uh, 6 and 4 is configured and the function should be fader. When I now move uh, fader 1 of my DMX console then I can uh, remote control the fader number 6 and the fader number uh, 4. And over here in the DMX view you can see uh, the different um, DMX values which are coming into the, the on PC software. And furthermore, over here there's a green indicator which says this DMX channel is actually used as a remote input. Yeah, that's basically all you have to know about the new remote function. Um, my name is Lars uh, from Tech Support and we are working on the next tips and tricks videos constantly and uh, hope you stay tuned. Bye bye.